Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and I wanted to talk to you about the 10 different git log formats that you can use when you want to format the output of your git commit history. So I've got my GitLab repository here. You can use any repository you want, whether it's GitHub, GitLab, or even just something local. You can see there's a nice history of commits here. I'm gonna head over to the repositories base and get the URL to clone it. So I'm gonna start this example right off from scratch. Open up the terminal window, and I'm gonna do a git clone. Paste in that URL. Create a folder called log formats. And I uh, put a space after root there. There we go. Authenticated in, and now we've got all of our repository cloned into this log formats folder. So let's go in there. Now, now that I'm in here, I just need to do a git status command to make sure that I'm on master. I indeed am. I actually like the git reflog command. Um, I like the format of it, git reflog. Uh, I just like the fact that it's all on one line. It's fairly succinct. Now, the difference between re git reflog and git log is that git reflog is only local, and git log uh, is everything. It's the whole public repository. So notice git reflog, I've only got one commit, and that's basically just pulling this code in here. If I do git log, you know, I get the whole history of commits, but I've also got this nasty format and I don't like the way you scroll down. And then to get out, you have to hit the Q button. Anyways, that's get the uh, git log. So one of the things you can do with the git log is format it in a nice way. So you can say git log pretty. Now I'm actually going to uh, click return here that's actually not what I wanted to do, but I want to be able to just kick, click the up button and uh, bring up this option. If I do git log dash dash pretty one line, you'll see that I get a look that's very much like the ref log. I get everything on one line. It looks good and handsome. I've got the hash there. And so that's one of the git log formats. And you can actually just go git log one line. And uh, just doing git log one line is almost the equivalent to doing the pretty one line. But as you can see, it kind of trims down the, the hash a little bit, um, makes it look a little bit nicer. So that's a couple of formats. Now, what else have we got? So there's git log one line. I like that. There's git log short. That's handsome as well. And of course, you have to have the dash dash pretty in there. And so, as you can see, just the commit and the author. I'm going to quit out of that. Um, I guess you could do git log pretty short, say one line. I don't know if that makes a big difference. Um, what else have we got? If you don't like the short, you can always go medium. There you go, a little bit more information on the medium. You've got the author date, commit hash, and the git commit. And as you can imagine, there's full. And now you're going to be getting even a little bit more information here. We've got the author, we've got the committer. What have we got? We've got, uh, I don't know, what else is on there? The author, the committer, the update. Doesn't look too much more interesting. Um, can you even get even more full than that? Well, yeah, you can actually do fuller. <laughs> and there we go. So now you can see you've got the commit, the commit date, the author, the author date. So getting a little bit more interesting there. Um, if you actually want to have a link to the reference for each commit, you can actually do reference. And so that's the git log pretty equals reference option. You want to see the email of the person who did the commit you can actually say git log pretty equals email and now you can see that the email is included there now raw is kind of interesting because if you say raw it actually gives you the 
all of the information that's sort of in the raw commit. So it's got the commit ID, the tree hash, the parent hash, and then information about the author and the committer. So that one's kind of interesting. Again, Q to get out of there. Um, now what else is there? I guess that's most of the pretty commands. Uh, you can actually go real custom with a pretty command. So you can actually do something like this. You can say git log pretty and say in yellow I want the word to hash be printed out and then percentage h means do the hash. Then in blue, percentage c color blue, I want the date to be and then percentage ad is the um, author date and then percentage C is red. I want the message to be percentage S that prints out the, the message and then I want the date in the human readable format. And here you can see it kind of pushes that out hash colon you see hash colon there it's all in yellow. Um, percentage H is the short hash percentage uppercase H is the long hash. Um, percentage AD is the date that it was authored at. Um, the red is the message, and there you go. And date human just means something that's somewhat readable. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, here's another option for it. Get log pretty, percentage green, percentage white, um, percentage yellow, and say, um, uh, what is that? Percentage s message is so-and-so's commit on so-and-so date. So that's the committer's name. That's the, oh, is that the actual... Yeah, that's the actual commit message, percentage S, and that's the date uh, CD, that's the commit date. And in this case, we did date equals short, and you can see it's just the year, month, date on there. And so that's some of the pretty commands. Now, the other command that I like is git log graph. And that's always a, a pretty cool way of looking at your code. Now. Right now the graph isn't too interesting, but you can see over here that as I start doing commits from one branch to another, it starts changing colors. There you can see a merge, oops, didn't mean to do that. You can see a, a merge here from fun feature into develop, so that's that branch getting merged in there. It looks like I've got the release branch up there. I always think that graph looks pretty cool, but it looks even better if it's just on one line. So you can do the pretty one line, and there you can kind of see the graph right there looks a little bit easier to view. And then you know if you really want to get crazy you can go git log graph and then you can even put your custom pretty into it. So you can do that pretty that I did before where I said date equals human and you can see you get that nice pretty graph here and then you get the information formatted the way that you want it to be formatted according to that, that pretty regular expression, I guess it's not a regular expression, but that pretty content formatting. And so there you go. Those are the various different Git log formats. It's also worth noting that the, there's a lot of different options that will print out data. So Git ref log is another one. All of these options, I think all of these options, uh, most of these options anyway, are available for the Git ref log as well. So if you want to format your Git ref log, you can use the same set of format commands. So that's a good overview of the different Git log formats. Now, by the way, if you want to learn more about Git, GitHub, anything to do with server-side development, microservices, methodology, and the like, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief on that site. And if you want to keep up with my antics, uh, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.